Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be doing the mission for the Genesis Armor. Um, before we get started though, I just wanted to say that I have definitely seen comments from players asking me to do um, alternate clears on the Sephiroth and the Tifa stage. I do plan to do that, um, some different clears, but that'll probably be tomorrow. I'm a little short on time today, um, but tomorrow I'll have some alternate Tifa and Sephiroth clears. But for now, we're going to just real quick do the Genesis fight, because this one is very, very easy. Um, level 3 is the final level. No items, no continues, uh, and no KOs. Duh. <laughs> um, you can take a friend. We're not going to, because we don't need to. And I'm going to just use this team to super easily clear it, but you can basically take really whatever you want. So the boss is a human. Um, and real quick, I'm going to bring up a Libra. Uh, before we get started, though, uh, I will point out that you watch during this ambush here. The boss does magic defensive stance. Nullifying magic attacks cannot be removed. So basically, he's immune to mages. I'm not sure what the point of that is, because the featured unit is a mage this week. But he's immune. Let me bring up a Libra I took earlier. As you can see, the boss is resistant to ice, water, and darkness. So if you're going for a quick clear, I recommend you avoid those. You could still use those elements, but obviously they deal less damage. We're going to go with a holy team, but you could use like fire, earth, whatever you want really. So we're going to use Sylvie to shift the LB. We're going to use Sukiko to imbue the party with light, put up a light and peril field, and we're going to do prayer of protection for a little bit of mitigation. We're going to use Lion to do defense steal, Larceny Human for the Human Killer, and I can't say this name, the AoE Mirage Attack. Um, so Lion's pretty good for this turn 1 OTK stuff. Although we're not going to actually turn 1 OTK because um, damage cap. So we're going to go ahead and chain up Dwayne's LB and 2B's Space Form LB. And, you know, de deal some damage here. And as you can see, the self-capping hits deal t the maximum of 10 billion. So because of the damage cap, we're a little bit short. If I had taken a friend, like a friend Dwayne or a friend 2B, it would have been a turn one OTK because, you know, third slot, we left the boss at you know, less than two thirds. But, um, you know, as you saw, the boss basically doesn't do anything. He is extremely, extremely weak. You don't even need a tank. As long as you break the boss, you're going to be totally fine. The boss's damage is laughable. Um, so, yeah, there is no turn limit, so take as long as you want. But, you know, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and just use 2B to give... I'm sorry, use Sylvie to refresh 2B's LB. And there it is. There is the fight. So once again, we're going to have a damage cap final hit. That damage cap really is just stupid. And the game needs to get rid of it. Because we're being artificially handicapped by units being, you know, maxed out at a 10B per hit. Although 2B does have the chaining LB, the big, the big hit is the final hit. And it's locked at 10 billion. It's, it's so stupid. Same thing as Genesis. Like, Genesis does a ton of damage, but not really, because Genesis only does 10 billion. And it's just stupid. It's really stupid. Um, so, obviously, 2B is way better. Dwayne should have used his Magnus, but we didn't have a Sword in Peril, and Dwayne really wants a Sword in Peril to use his Magnus. Um, I could have done it on turn two and really, really overkilled this boss. Um, I really should have done it because it, lo it looks like Dwayne's bad here. He's really not. Um, but anyway, so there it is. Super quick and easy turn one, turn two OTK. Or even if you, even if you have to go to like turn five, turn six. Um, like I said, as long as you're breaking the boss's attack and magic, his damage is 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 real bad. It's real bad. So there it is. So I'll be going back for um, some budget runs or. or I shouldn't say budget runs, cheaper runs, because they're still pretty hard to get the missions done. Um, I'll be doing some cheaper runs on Sephiroth and the Tifa crowns. You know, I got a lot of comments. What if I don't have Avalanche Barrett for the Tifa fight? Um, I actually have not gotten that many comments about the Sephiroth fight. So, yeah, the Tifa fight, a lot of people are asking me, you know, you know PMs and stuff. Uh, what if I don't have Avalanche Barrett? We'll do that probably tomorrow. So, see you then.